In today's video, we're taking a closer look at Surfshark's Clean Web 2.0 and whether it can actually replace your ad blocker. What's up, you guys? My name is Ashley Robots, and if you ever found yourself juggling three different extensions just to block ads, trackers, and pop ups, you're definitely not the only one. Surfshark says Clean Web 2.0 can handle it all in one shot ads, cookies, malware warnings, and even alerts for data breaches. But does it really work, or is it just another feature that sounds good on paper? I'm going to walk you through how it performs in real life and how it compares to other tools and whether it's worth using. Let's get into it. So first off, what is Clean Web 2.0? Clean Web 2.0 is Surfshark's upgraded browser-based privacy tool. Unlike the original Clean Web that's built into the Surfshark VPN app and only works when the VPN is on, Clean Web 2.0 is a standalone browser extension. That means it works whether the VPN is running or not, which makes it much more flexible for daily use. It's available on Chrome, Fire, Firefox and Edge, and the goal is to protect your browsing from every angle. So the ads, trackers, pop-ups, malicious sites, and even warning you about data breaches tied to the websites you're visiting. In a way, it combines what you'd normally get from four or five different extensions into one dashboard. It's lightweight, free with any Surfshark subscription, and super beginner friendly. But like anything that promises to do it all, the real question is how well it works in practice. And that's what we're going to cover next. So is it actually better than an ad blocker and that really depends on what you care about most if you're looking for one simple tool that blocks ads and protects you from malware and trackers without needing a bunch of manual setup clean web 2.0 is a great option it's faster to install than setting up custom filters in something like uBlock, and it works immediately without much user input but if you're a power user who wants to whitelist specific sites build custom rules or block elements on a page manually then standalone ad blockers still win clean web 2.0 is not as customizable and it doesn't give you control over exactly what gets blocked and what doesn't. The upside is that Surfshark includes this feature for free with their VPN, so you're not paying extra for clean web. That's a really big deal because most full featured ad blockers now charge a subscription fee or runoff donations. Here you get tracker protection, anti malware, cookie pop up blocking, and more, all wrapped into one extension that works whether you're using the VPN or not. Now let's take a closer look at what Clean Web 2.0 actually does and how it compares to traditional ad blockers. Number one, full ad blocking. Clean Web 2.0 blocks banner ads, autoplay video ads, pop-ups, sidebars, and even YouTube ads. It runs at the browser level, so it's not limited by which app or page you're in. During testing, it blocked ads on new sites blogs, and e-commerce pages without breaking the layout of the site. Number two is tracker and cookie pop-up blocking. It automatically blocks third-party tracking scripts that collect data about your browsing behavior. And one underrated bonus is that it handles those annoying cookie consent pop-ups that ask you to accept all every single time you visit a new site. You don't have to deal with that anymore. It's done for you in the background. Number three is phishing and malware protection. So Clean Web 2.0 checks the domains you visit against databases of malicious or suspicious websites. If a site is known to spread malware or has been flagged for phishing, you'll get a warning before the page loads. It's like having a mini firewall in your browser. Number four is data breach alerts. This feature checks if the site you're browsing has been involved in a recent data breach. It's not checking your personal email. It's scanning the domain you're visiting and flagging it if user data has been leaked. That's super helpful if you're about to log in or make a purchase. Number five is lightweight and easy to use. You don't need to create custom filters or know how ad blockers work to use this. Once you install the browser extension, you'll see four simple toggles, ad blocking, pop-up blocking, data breach alert, and malware alert. That's it. Turn them on or off as needed. Number six is runs independently from the VPN. So this might be the most important part. It runs even when the VPN is off. So if you're on a fast local connection and don't need encryption, but still want ad blocking, Clean Web 2.0 still works. That makes it a much more versatile tool than the original in-app Clean Web, which only runs while connected to the VPN. Okay. Okay, so now that you have a full picture on what Clean Web 2.0 is, let's take a look at the different pricing and plan options of Surfshark. So if you want to get started, make sure you use our exclusive link in the description to get the best price possible. Once you click that link, you can go ahead and get, get Surfshark VPN. So like I said, Clean Web 2.0 is completely free with your Surfshark subscription. There's no separate license or extra charge and Surfshark plans are honestly super affordable. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so here you can see they have a couple different options and to get the best price possible I would recommend going with the 24 months and even if
if you choose the 24 months, they all have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't love it, you can absolutely get your money back. We're going to go over the 24 month plan since this is the best price possible. But again, you can use our link and go ahead and check out the other options for you. First off, we got the Surfshark starter and you can save 86% and that brings it to just $2.19 per month plus three extra months free. With this, you get the VPN and the alternative ID. Next up, we've got the Surfshark one and you can save 85% on this plan, which brings it to just $2.69 per month plus three extra months free. With this, you get the VPN, alternative ID, antivirus, alert, and search. And then lastly is the Surfshark One Plus and you can save 79% on this and that brings it to just $4.29 per month plus these extra months as well. So this plan includes everything that's in the Surfshark One, but you also get this data removal by Incogni. If you want to check out even more details on each of these plans, again, check the link in the description and just take a look at them yourself. Let's kind of dive into some of the pros and cons. Starting off with the pros, Clean Web 2.0 does a solid job blocking ads right out of the gate. You don't have to mess with filters or settings. It just works. It also goes beyond typical ad blockers by offering data breach warnings, malware alerts, and cookie pop-up blockers. These are features that most ad blockers either charge for or don't offer at all. It runs smoothly in the background without slowing down your browser, and it's just nice that it works even when the VPN isn't turned on. Plus, you get all of this included for free with your VPN subscription. Now for the cons. If you're used to detailed control, Clean Web 2.0 might feel a little too simple. You can't add custom blocking rules or address filter lists like you can with something like uBlock, Origin, or AdGuard. It also only works on desktop browsers right now, not mobile apps like Safari or Chrome for iOS. And while it does block most YouTube ads, there are still some reports of occasional video ads slipping through, especially during YouTube's more aggressive ad rollouts. Lastly, Surfshark is based in the Netherlands, which is part of the 9i Intelligence Sharing Alliance. It doesn't mean your data isn't safe, but it's just something privacy purists might care about. Is Clean Web 2.0 for you? If you're already a Surfshark user, turning on Clean Web 2.0 is a no brainer. It's built in and improves your browsing, and it adds a safety layer most VPNs don't offer at all. If you're deciding between Surfshark and another VPN, Clean Web 2.0 gives Surfshark a real edge, especially if you value ad blocking but don't want to install another extension. And if you're just looking for an ad blocker without a VPN, Clean Web 2.0 might not be enough on its own. In that case, you're better off just using a dedicated blocker. But for someone who wants solid protection, simple design, and a clutter-free experience, it really does hold its own and in some cases outperforms traditional tools. What I like about Surfshark and Clean Web 2.0 is it just doesn't feel clunky and it doesn't require a long setup and it just makes the internet more enjoyable to use. There's no weird layout breaks, no trackers following me around, and fewer sketchy links that make you wonder if you just downloaded a virus. If you want to check out Clean Web 2.0 and Surfshark, make sure you use our exclusive link link in the description below. I do just want to mention that these are affiliate links, which means we do earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. We just want to thank you so much in advance for your support because it really just helps us to continue to make videos like these. That wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave any comments or questions below. We would absolutely love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.